Hey guys and welcome to today's video in this deep learning model of the day series. In this video here, we're going to take a look at how can we do frame interpolation with deep learning models. But first of all, remember to subscribe button and bell notification on the video. You can also become a member of the channel if you want some help in your own projects. If you have some problems, I can help you out, give some guidance. So thank you guys. So here we just jump straight into the hawk and face space for the frame interpolation. So this radio demo here is actually like for the film, so FILM, which is frame interpolation for large scene motion. So we can actually like use this for um, for interpolating between different kind of frames. So you'll need two frames, you pass in two frames. So basically you have one frame to the other frame and then you want to interpolate like what happens between those two frames. And then you'll get the output uh, to the right. Uh, and then you can also like have this threshold here, like how many times do we want to interpolate between the two images. So let's say we have one frame one and frame two, and then we want to interpolate uh, 10 times between those images, then it will actually like get 10 frames uh, between these two frames that we pass into our model. We can also specify the model name that we want to use. So we can use these different kind of like tra pre-trained uh, models for this interpolation film style. We're just going to go with the default one here and then to have some examples down at the bottom. So here we can see like some kind of cat is walking and we also have this um, rabbit or something like the cat also with the with the ears, which is like flipping the ears. So we can try to like just take this one down at the bottom. So here we're going to take this model and then we get the output over to the right. Here we can just play the video and then we can see how it changes from frame to frame. So this is the interpolation between this frame and the second frame. We can also like increase the number of times we want to interpolate and then we can sit submit again and then it will process it over here to the right before showing the output. So now we have the output over here to the right with the interpolation, like the number of times to interpolate is 10. So we have the in frame one and the frame two, and then we want to interpolate 10 times between those two different kind of frames. And now we're just going to play the video here and then we can see like the interpolation steps uh, from frame one to frame two. So we can see this is way slower. We have a 34 uh, seconds video and then we can see it just interpolates like how is this cat here moving from frame one to frame two. And then we can just skip here in the video and then we just end up at frame two here at the end. So this is a pretty nice model. We can use this for a lot of different kind of things by like interpolating between different frames. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video or else I'll just see you in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.